Doing this one thing could prevent your hearing loss from getting worse. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about how hearing aids may be able to slow down the progression of your hearing loss. It is a widely accepted belief that the earlier you treat your hearing loss, the more successful you'll be with treatment. In fact, this is why the recommendation for newborn babies is to have their hearing screened before they turn one month old. If they happen to fail that screening, the recommendation is to have a full diagnostic hearing evaluation before they turn three months of age. And if they fail that, then they should be receiving hearing treatment before they turn six months old and preferably sooner. This ensures that newborn babies spend as little amount of time as possible in auditory deprivation so they can properly develop the auditory centers of their brain. But what about the impact of auditory deprivation on adults? After all, most adults have a fully developed auditory system before they start losing their hearing. Hearing loss in adults is typically due to age, noise exposure, chemical exposure, genetics, and even head trauma. These causes of hearing loss in adults typically happens later in their life and they've been able to hear their entire life up until the point where they start developing this hearing loss. But what happens when these hearing losses go unidentified or they are identified but they choose not to actually treat them causing a significant amount of auditory deprivation? And if this auditory deprivation significantly increases the progression of hearing loss, you could have a huge problem on your hands. So this begs the question, can treating your hearing loss with hearing aids prevent your hearing from getting worse? To answer this question, we will have to dive into the research. But before I do, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out the channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. And I publish a ton of new videos every single week. That being said, it's greatly appreciated. Now let's get back to the video. First, we have to consider which aspects of hearing loss we're looking to slow down or prevent from getting worse. One of these aspects could be the pure tone thresholds on your audiogram, which are indicated by the X's and the O's that indicate how loud a sound needs to be before you can barely hear it. It could be your speech reception thresholds, which is the softest level of speech that you can barely understand. It could be your word recognition scores, which is the percentage of speech that you can comprehend in a quiet environment. Or it could be your overall cognitive performance, which allows you to process and comprehend what you're hearing, particularly in complex or noisy environments. If the decline in one or more of these four different aspects of your hearing could be reduced through the use of hearing aids, then we may be able to say that using hearing aids could actually prevent your hearing from getting worse. But let's not take my word for it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the research to see if this is even possible. In a study from 1984, researchers investigated differences in pure tone thresholds, speech reception thresholds, and word recognition scores in individuals with hearing loss in both of their ears. One of the groups in this study was being treated with hearing aids in both ears, and one of the groups was being treated with hearing aids in only one of their ears. This way they could identify if the hearing loss in the untreated ears actually got worse than the hearing loss in the treated ears. What they identified is that there was no significant difference in the rate of decline between the untreated ears and the treated ears when it came to pure tone thresholds and speech reception thresholds. And this is pretty much the result that I saw throughout a variety of different research studies that I looked at on this topic. However, what these researchers also identified was that the word recognition scores in the unaided ears that went through auditory deprivation had a significant reduction compared to the word recognition scores of the aided ears. According to this study, over a four to five year time period, the average reduction in word recognition scores of the unaided ears was 18.5% and it was only 2.6% in the aided ears. Even back in 1984, this was a pretty compelling reason to actually treat your hearing loss in order to prevent additional hearing loss. Despite the fact that several other studies saw mixed results on this in the 90s and early 2000s, it is generally accepted that properly treating your hearing loss with hearing aids can reduce auditory deprivation and potentially slow down the rate of your hearing loss decline. In a study published in 2020, researchers took another look at the potential impact of auditory deprivation in individuals with a symmetrical bilateral hearing loss that were only treated with a hearing aid in one ear. What they found was just like they found back in 1984, which is there was no significant reduction in pure tone averages of the untreated ear versus the treated ear. However, they also 
also identified that there was a statistically significant reduction in word recognition scores of the unaided ears compared to the aided ears, although the amount of this reduction was much less at only 2.5%. There are a few things that we can take away from these different studies. Number one, we should not expect to prevent your X's and O's from falling further down on your audiogram through the use of hearing aids, and we should also not expect to prevent the worsening of your speech reception thresholds. But we can also take away that your word recognition scores do not appear to decline as quickly if you treat your hearing loss with hearing aids. Now this is great news for individuals who have chosen to treat their hearing loss early, and really bad news for individuals who are waiting to treat their hearing loss or refusing to treat their hearing loss. Because once these word recognition scores drop, they do not go back up in the future. But what about this fourth aspect of your hearing, which is your cognitive performance and your ability to process what you're hearing? Well, there is a growing body of evidence that if you treat your hearing loss with hearing aids, not only does it ensure that your brain processes auditory information in the proper location, but it also could prevent your rate of cognitive decline in the future. In a 2020 study by Drs. Hannah Glick and Anu Sharma, they identified that the human brain reorganizes where it processes information when you have a hearing loss, meaning that not all auditory information is processed inside of the auditory cortex, and that other sensory modalities like vision can start to overtake portions of the auditory centers of the brain called cross-modal reorganization. And just so we're clear here, cross-modal reorganization is a bad thing. The good news though is that they identified that the proper treatment of your hearing loss with hearing aids resulted in a reversal of cross-modal reorganization of the auditory cortex, which coincided with gains in speech perception and cognitive performance. Thus, beyond the known benefits of hearing aid use on communication, outcomes from this study provide evidence that clinical intervention with well-fit amplification may promote more typical cortical organization and functioning and provide cognitive benefit. This is a complex way of saying that if you treat your hearing loss with hearing aids, it is really good for your brain. Of course, we also have the ACHIEVE study that was published in July of 2023, which indicated that individuals at a higher risk for cognitive decline saw a 48% reduction in the rate of decline when their hearing loss was treated with hearing aids. This was followed by the ENHANCE study in January of 2024 that identified individuals with untreated hearing loss performed worse in regards to working memory, visual attention, and psychomotor function compared to individuals who had their hearing loss treated with hearing aids. Okay, so I know you're probably getting sick of me talking about research here, so let's go ahead and answer our original question of, will treating your hearing loss with hearing aids actually prevent your hearing from getting worse? Based on the research, I have to say that the answer to this is yes, and no. Hearing aids do appear to be able to slow down the decline of your word recognition scores, which indicate how clear speech is to you in a quiet situation, which is arguably the most important aspect of your hearing. I know that everybody wants to be able to hear in background noise, but if you can't hear and understand speech in quiet, you're pretty much screwed. We also know that treating your hearing loss with hearing aids promotes proper cortical organization inside of your brain, which is good for speech perception and cognitive performance. And that treating your hearing loss with hearing aids also appears to be able to slow down your rate of cognitive decline, at least in at-risk individuals. But there is a catch, because all of these studies were done with individuals who were properly fit and programmed with their hearing aids, and they wore those hearing aids consistently. Meaning that if your hearing aids are not fit and programmed by a hearing care professional who follows comprehensive audiologic best practices, then you cannot expect these results. And the best way to find a hearing care professional who actually follows these best practices is to go to my website hearingup.com and finding a HearingUp Network member near you. HearingUp members have been vetted and are committed to providing these audiologic best practices to ensure that your hearing aids are fit and programmed optimally so you can prevent as much additional hearing loss as possible. Not to mention ensuring that you can hear your absolute best with your hearing aids. So if that's something that's important to you, make sure that you find a Hearing Up Network member in your area. When it comes to wearing your hearing aids so you can experience the full amount of benefit, that is up to you. Just remember that at a minimum, you wanna wear your hearing aids for at least eight hours a day, and ideally, you wanna wear your hearing aids for all the hours that you're awake. Because if you wanna have the best shot at preventing your hearing from getting worse, then not only do you have to wear hearing 
hearing aids that are properly fit and programmed for your hearing loss, but you actually have to wear them.